everybody steers clear of this valley. Yeah, even McLeod avoids it. Whatever it is, it sure is creepy. Creepy? What's so creepy about it? This was a shelter. Somebody's home. See the cooking pot? And the ladles. And that musket. That's a real museum piece. It's a locket with a picture of a woman. <laughs> What's this? Hey, crazy. A game of pickup sticks. I, I don't think we should touch anything. Well, what's wrong? Nothing. I, I just don't think we should disturb anything in here. <sighs> Kathy, this isn't what... It could be like last summer when they dug up those graves and Chimwak was so mad. Look, this isn't a Jibway. She won't have any objections if You don't know that, Chubb. Isn't this Shadow Valley? And hasn't this cave been here for years and years? So? So let's just not touch anything in here and find out what she thinks. That's a good idea. Look, everything in here is an Indian. The locket, the musk. But she might still tell us to keep out. Why don't we take a sample like this to the professor? Chubb. Boy, that's asking for trouble. Professor Mandel would be up here with a shovel so fast. Well, listen, I won't tell him where it is. Just ask him to identify it and tell us where it came from. Haven't you guys got any scientific curiosity? Don't you want to know? All I want to do is get out of this cave. Me too. Look, wishing won't make it go away. Now, we found this cave and we should learn more about it. Like last year. No, Shingwak doesn't have to find out about it. Now, look, after we've shown this to the professor, We'll put it right back and go and ask George for advice, okay? I'm keeping out of this. I'll write in and tell George the narrows are clear while you're at the professor's. Professor Mandel, are you busy? Yes, but come in. Come on in. Well, what is it? Well, I thought I knew something about Indian relics, but I'm stumped. What would a lot of wooden back scratchers be used for? What was that? A couple of dozen carved sticks, worn real smooth, and most of the design at one end. Chubb, those sound like counters for a game called Walters. But, uh, how would you know about that? Um, thank you, sir. That's all we wanted to know. All right, Chuck, just a moment. Uh, tell me more about these, uh, back scratchers. Where did you get that? We found it. I can't believe it. You bought that from somebody? No, sir, we found it. On the river. Now, where exactly on the river did you find that? I'm afraid we can't tell you. You can't tell me? We've got to discuss it with a friend first. You mean Shing Walk? You're actually going to consult with that old fraud. 
Shing Wok's our friend. Well, yes, of course he is. Now, but leave the counter here with me. Can't do that, Professor. Sorry. Look, we'll put this back for now and then tomorrow discuss the whole thing with George. Why can't we just forget about it? Because the professor will go to George. And you weren't going to tell him a thing. What's wrong, Kathy? Who is it? Let me see him. Come on, come on out. She walk. Boy, did you ever scare us. We did wrong. Yeah, we know we did. Well, we were coming to you next, Shingwa, to tell you. This cave and all things in it are cursed. This cave was a home of the lost tribe, the ones the great spirit gave no honor, no hunting ground, no peace, nothing but sickness and death. Nothing in this cave must be touched. Now we seal the cave and go to my tent. Yeah, it's a great idea, but... Well, we were going to block the entrance when we left, but... Well, we better get going after that, Ching Wok. It's kind of late and supper. You carry curse. Huh? You all carry curse. You took something from this place. But we put it back. In my father's father's time, any disturbance in this cave brought death. Now we go to my tent, make offering to great spirit. Io savana clico e bo bona. He manas, he or savanna, clico, a boy. Oh, Elna, he now, me now, spine it, and the clico, wherever he'll run. He now, all the kings of Bina. Oh, me now, oh, me now, come on, a clean. Yes, I checked the narrows yesterday. It was clear. Yes, I'll phone you if anything comes through. Nope. No rain last night for a change. Yeah, goodbye. Well, Professor, hello. George, I have just made the archaeological discovery of the century. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Uh, with your help, that is. I beg your pardon? Look, some 200 years ago, a small clan of Mi'kmaq Indians broke their nation's treaty with the French settlers and were driven out of Nova Scotia. Now, having no lands of their own to hunt, well, they became marauders out of sheer necessity. Be careful only to raid white settlements and outposts and do nothing to anger the, uh, the Indian tribes through whose hunting grounds they traveled. Now, legends have it that they raided down into what are now the New England states and then back up along the St. Lawrence settlements and then back along Lake Ontario. They're leaving no living witnesses behind to help the soldiers who were pursuing them. Just think of it, George. A handful of outcasts surviving against all those odds and over those thousands of miles. I don't get the connection. You worked all that out up here in Indian River. But no, 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 no. No, I worked all that out over the course of 20 years. And for 20 years, I've looked and hoped for something more concrete, something more than just old letters and rumors and legends. And yesterday, the proof that I need was found right here in Indian River. Then you are to be congratulated. And not me, your junior rangers. The kids. Yesterday, they brought me a counter, a piece from a Mi'kmaq game called Waltes. Now, they refused to tell me exactly where they found it, so I was, uh, I was forced to follow them. Professor... Why the espionage? Just ask them. Oh, oh, I did. That's no use. Shing Walk has them terrified. Chubb, come on in. Where'd you get to last night? I couldn't locate any of you, and it was well past seven. 
Well, they're wishing what? You know Professor Mandel, Chubb. Then why did you refuse to give him the location of the cave? Chubb? Well, because of the trouble we had last year, we thought we'd check with Xing Wok. We were going to go to you first, but Xing Wok caught us red-handed. Chubb, you realize that I'm responsible for this district. You know that Professor Mandel's studies are sponsored by the provincial government, and that I am to give him all the help he needs. Yes, George. It's one thing to be concerned about Xing Wok's feelings, but we can't let him interfere. I warned him last summer when he tried to prevent the building of the new road near the old burial ground. He didn't try and stop them, George. He just warned the foreman that there were going to be accidents. And there were lots of them. Chubb, I'd like you to tell Professor Mandel how to get to the old cave. Now, please. But I promised that... Chubb! This isn't a cave, George. It's a museum of atrocities. Well, I wouldn't go that far, Professor. It certainly does look like a strange collection. Uh, and every piece tells a story. Piece together, they're going to tell of one of the strangest and bloodiest journeys ever taken. Uh, that old musket, for example. Yeah. French colonial. An outpost along the St. Lawrence, attacked by surprise. Huh. And this. Your own knife, stolen just before they moved on. And that, Iroquois shields, same thing, stolen. And this, old cooking pot. And this, a locket, a pioneer family. Uh-huh, probably butchered. Professor, hadn't we better get going now that you've found the cave? Yeah, yeah. Can you drive me back to the farmhouse? I'd like to get going tonight. Professor, I'm sorry, but we're going on up to visit Xing Wok. Well, do I have to go too? No, you don't need his approval to work in the cave. Well, that's just a waste of time. Professor, if you'd wasted a little more time when you first came to Indian River, you wouldn't find it so difficult to get cooperation now. Well, what do you mean by that? You've treated Xing Wok, an old man the whole community respects, with no respect. Oh. All right, I'll go with you. Good. They were a lost people. The Great Spirit placed them in the cave and cursed them with sickness and death. Yes, smallpox or measles caught from some white trapper during their travels. Well, since the cave is not Ojibwe, Shingwak, I'm sure that you'll have no objection to the professors doing a little research and... The curse awaits in the cave. Oh, good. It'll be company for me. Well, can we go now, George? I want to start as soon as I can. I'll have to drive back to Indian River first. You won't be able to start work until tomorrow. The professor will not be alive tomorrow. Shingwak! Am I being threatened? The locket and knife he took from the cave will bring the fever soon. So, I was spied on in the cave. Well, George, you can't say I didn't cooperate. No, I've had enough of this. I'll wait in the truck. Hello? He's not here. Who's that? Uh, the wind. Hey, there's an oil lamp in there.
Hey, is there a phone? I can't see one. Ted, we better get a doctor. Mike, you and Kathy stay with him. Found him where? Out at the farmhouse. We already got a doctor. Ted's driving out with him now. Good work. Say, what were you doing out at the farmhouse? Oh, well, we were out there visiting him. And there he was, lying sick on the sofa. And just then, Shing Wok came in. Shing Wok? Like, sir? Yes. Water. Water thirsty. Right away. Don't worry. The doctor's coming. Keely here? How long do we have? Right. Anyone I should phone? Yep. Right away. They found the log jam up by Minton. The river's backed up for almost a mile, and there's nothing they can do. The dam will break any minute. May, get me Sergeant Stewart, and quickly. <coughs> That's three you've had, sir. Would you like another? No, 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 thanks. Oh, that terrible thirst is finally gone. I can't imagine what it was. Oh, you had a terrible fever, Professor. But you're better now. May have been a little food poisoning. I'm afraid I'm careless about... Or maybe just plain old poisoning. No, no, it was a fever, sir. At least Shing Wok seemed to think so. Chap and Ted will be back with the doctor soon. Did you say Shing Wok? Yeah, he was here. He said you were going to get better. And you have. Well, that does it. I begin tonight. Sir, where are you going? You're still sick. Yes, sir. Shouldn't you lie down? Professor Mandel, c come back. Hello? Oh, George. Boy, am I glad to hear... No. The doctor hasn't arrived yet. It won't be necessary anyhow. The professor just left. To the cave. I'll stand for no interference, so you just keep right out of my way. There it is! Any sign of the professor? Not in the wagon. But he's down in the key of the fool. Wait, Chubb, not that way. The river's too high. We'll have to try and get down from the top. Ted, there's a rope in the back of the truck. You 
done everything possible to try to prevent this. So why are you taking it so calmly? The professor will take nothing from this place tonight. Oh, won't he? Well, you just watch. Just a minute. If that was true, why are you hanging around? Ha! You can't panic me. If there's any danger, you wouldn't be standing there. I'll wait to rescue the professor. <laughs> Don't move that professor. Why not, Ching Walk? Will it bring the spirit? Yeah. No, professor, but it's not scientific to move it. <laughs> We got here too late, Chuck. This part of the bank is going. We gotta try, George. I know. If you can't get near the entrance to the cave this time, then we better give up. Ted, hold the flash. I want to check these knots. Ted, the light, please. Hey, George, look. I can't remember. I'm glad all of you showed up. With the four of us working, we'll have that cave cleared in no time. Are you crazy? We're all heading for high ground and right now. The worst of the flood hasn't even hit yet. But, George, it, it, it's already in sacks, waiting. Well, we'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Yeah. Now, come on. Oh. By the way, Professor, Xing Wok just saved your life. What's keeping him? Does he know what he's doing? Professor, he's the best man in the business. Give him a chance. Professor, here he comes. Did you see it? Did you find the cave? Well, answer me, man. Did you see the cave? Yeah, what's left of it? Kind of a shallow bowl. Bowl? Yeah, an empty bowl. Professor, anything that was in that cave has been washed clear to Lake Superior or buried in the silt somewhere along the way. Okay, Shingwalk, my friend. You win. This time. 